Hello, this is Rupinder Sial and welcome again to Spartan Tutorials. So several of you had suggested me to make a video about the blood clots induced by some of the COVID-19 vaccines. Whether it is still safe to take Covaxin, Covishield or Sputnik V or any other vaccine that will be available in India in future and what should we do about the blood clot issue. So that's what we are going to discuss today. So let's get started. Now, as soon as the COVID-19 vaccination was launched around the world, many countries started noticing some instances of blood clots. These were very rare blood clot events, but it posed a huge controversy regarding the safety and efficacy of the vaccines. Now, a little bit background to the development of vaccines. This is unprecedented in human history when we have made, I mean, we as the vaccine manufacturers and the scientists responsible for this, they have made vaccines for a disease in such a record time. Within one year, so many different vaccines have been tried, tested, developed and pushed through clinical trials, data collected and then produced. So this was unprecedented. So doubtlessly, there must be some issues that remain and this kind of cast a doubt on the efficacy of the vaccines. After the AstraZeneca vaccine, that is the Covishield in India, it reported some blood clots. Many countries, including, for example, Denmark, Norway, Iceland, France, Italy, Cyprus and others, they suspended AstraZeneca vaccine and they switched on to other vaccines, Moderna vaccines, as well as the Pfizer, BioNTech vaccines. They had the cho choice. So they switched to those vaccines and they suspended the use of AstraZeneca vaccine. Later on, Johnson & Johnson vaccine also came under the same cloud because there were some blood clot issues reported with these. And these were extremely rare. We have to realize that such a mass vaccination drive has never been conducted globally. Millions and millions of doses of these vaccines were administered. So it is very likely, if you think about it in statistics, that some adverse events will anyways happen. Some deaths will happen, some side effects will happen. This is not and these are not causally linked to the vaccine. They may be just correlated with the vaccine. And so that's what we are going to discuss and trying to disentangle this issue. Now, CDC, Center for Disease Control and the Food and Drug Administration also released a statement about the Johnson & Johnson COVID vaccine. And they said that more than 7 million, so that is 70 lakh, doses in Indian terms of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine had been administered and they reported six cases. Now, this is extremely rare. Six divided by 6.8 into 20 raised to power 6 or you can say 68 such a big number. Six out of these. This is an extremely low number and you can calculate the percentage of it. This will be extremely rare. And the particular blood clot was actually even rarer. This was called the cerebral venous sinus thrombosis or CVST. This was the exact blood clot. These are not the normal blood clots and that's what we will talk about also. And later on scientific studies, they also came out showing the molecular mechanism behind these blood clots. So the scientists noted several points about these adverse events. One is of course this is a cerebral venous sinus thrombosis. They introduced a new term for this specific disorder which is vaccine induced immune thrombotic thrombocytopenia VITT. They noticed that it was more frequent among women, more frequent among women and those who are above 55 years of age. And when they did molecular studies, they found that these patients developed antibodies against platelet factor 4. And this, the researchers hypothesized that antibodies against platelet factor 4 triggered a, an autoimmune vaccine induced response. Whether that is vaccine induced, that is another question. But anyways, it is an autoimmune response, which is usually seen with vaccines. Anyway, these are pretty rare. 
This is a diagram showing the sinuses and the veins, you know, which drain blood out of the brain. And cerebral venous sinus thrombosis actually occurs in the veins and sinuses which drain the blood away from the brain. Now the background occurrence rate, what, what is the average occurrence rate of a disease? Now you can think about any disease, for example, how many people die from malaria per year? How many people die from AIDS per year? How many people die from brain cancer per year? What is the common epidemiological occurrence of a disease? And we have to measure the vaccine response against that background rate. Now the background rate is about 2 to 16 cases per million per year. This is according to the studies that have looked at uh, the cerebral venous sinus thrombosis. So this is the background rate that we should compare our vaccine induced blood clots. I also want to emphasize that you can't avoid risk of death, risk of disease. There is always a risk of death, risk of disease and risk of adverse events. Although life in the modern world has gotten much safer, much healthier, many less people are dying, people are dying at older ages, so mortality is decreasing by age, but there is always a risk of death. For example, we can look at statistics of India. There are seven deaths per 1000 people per year. So the population of India is close to 1 billion, 1.3 billion. So you can see that there will be 7 million deaths in one year. So what is the chance that you will die this year? Although you may think that, oh, I am young or I am not that old or whatever and I am healthy. But just considering the background rate, it is 0.53% looking at the overall population of India versus how many deaths occur in India per year. Similarly, number of road deaths in India. How many people die in road deaths in India? A lot. About 1.5 lakhs, 151,000 as you can see from this statistic here. Okay, 151,000. So what is the chance that somebody or you, know, you or me will die by road death in India? 0.0116%. There is a chance. It is not 0%. Although you may be a safe driver, although you drive with all the precautions and helmets and everything, which you should, by the way, anyway, but there is a chance. And reports in Australia also say that they had administered about 4 million doses, 3.6 million doses, and they reported two deaths. This is an astonishingly rare event. What is the chance? You can see 0.000055%. That is the chance. So you are one person, I am one person. So the logic is I don't want to be that one person out of the, you know, 100 crores or 200 crores or 3 million that died from this vaccine, of course. But we have to acknowledge that there is a background rate for these events anyway. And the surprising fact is that COVID infection just by itself also causes these CVST clots, cerebral venous sinus thrombosis. And if we look at some other vaccines, for example, human papilloma virus vaccines, this is a study which looked at the adverse events following immunization, which we talked about in my last video, AEFI, adverse events following immunization always happen. Some kind of people fainting, some people having vomiting, some people having fever, all, all kinds of adverse events, they are classified. And you can see in two states, Punjab and Sikkim, Girls were administered HPV vaccines and this is pretty recent data and out of about 10,000 girls in Punjab, 28 ad experienced adverse events and out of about 25,000 girls in Sikkim, 119 experienced adverse events. This is also a number. This is not like it's not 100% safe. No vaccine, no medicine is 100% safe. There are always going to be adverse effects. So you can see 0.289% of getting these side effects, headache, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, fainting, it could be, and 0.848%. And now actually researchers have also developed treatment options for this cerebral venous sinus thrombosis or VITT. And that is providing intravenous immune globulin. So this is a type of an antibody and anticoagulants. And this actually 
takes care of this disease also. So that has also been uh, taken care of. So we have treatment options available. These will be introduced pretty soon, I think, globally. So I think we have very, very less reason to worry about these things. And finally, I want to illustrate the point that actually it is even more risky if you don't take the vaccine to die of the same blood clots. For example, what is the risk for getting the blood clot after COVID? Just somebody having the COVID, what is the risk that they will have blood clots? Because COVID-19 infection also causes these blood clots. It is 39 per million patients. So 39 per million patients. That is the risk that we have if we just have, if somebody just has COVID and this is the risk that he or she will have the blood clot. What is the risk after the person gets AstraZeneca vaccine, which has these uh, blood clot issues? It is five per million. So it is still eight times less than what is the background rate. And risk after Pfizer or Moderna vaccine, 4.1 per million. And risk without infection or vaccine, it is 0.41 per million. If somebody is just healthy, still he has some background chance. This is a statistical concept and I think it is very hard for scientists to convey this to the normal people that there is always a risk of any disease happening to you at any time. Of course, there are risk factors. For example, if somebody smokes cigarettes, there are always people who say, oh, I didn't get cancer or my uncle didn't get lung cancer. But there's always a background rate and you always have increased risk of getting lung cancer if you smoke tobacco. So these statistical concepts and a little bit of fine differences are sometimes lost on the general public. So I think I should end with a general take home message that it is much safer to take the vaccine and there is an extremely rare chance that you will get a blood clot or any other adverse event after the vaccine. So please do get the vaccine, any vaccine that you can get for the people who are watching in India, Covishield, Covaxin and Sputnik V are available right now in other countries. If you have the option, you can choose the vaccines like Pfizer, BioNTech or Moderna, which haven't reported any blood clot events or any other adverse event. So if you have the luxury, please do so. But anyways, if you are in India also, please get Covishield, Covaxin or Sputnik V. All these are equally safe, equally effective and equally immunogenic. Okay. So I hope you like this video. Please let me know your doubts, comments or questions about it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.